Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to talk to this Babam here. So you've got information of Goldbub. Then now we need General White. I heard he was seen in Petalburg. You head there. Alright, so I'm going to meet you at Petalburg. Be right back. Alright, here we are in good old Petalburg, uh, Petalburg Woods. Well, Petalburg City? Town? What is it? I think Petalburg City. And look, there's Koopy Koo and there's Koops' dad whose name escapes me. Oh, and there's a badge here that I missed. Look at that. I'm glad we came back for the Mega Partner Badge. Mega Rush Partner Badge. Nobody needs that. Alright, moving on. So come in here, and we talk to this guy. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. What's that? General White. Um, General, um, well, I've certainly seen him around, but not lately, no. I think he may have possibly said he'd head south to more, ah, uh, Keyhole Key, probably. Creaky, yep. All right, so I guess I'm going to cut this out and meet you guys at Keyhole Key. Uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to cut this right about now. Alright, Key Hall Key, here we are, and now we just gotta talk to our good friend Patchy. General White, uh, he was here a second ago, but he took off right quick, said he was going to an- Alright, so I'll meet you. I'll meet you at the Glitz Pit. Bye, guys. Alright, here we are, finally. I didn't know who I had to talk to, so I was walking around for a while, but I remember now, it's this guy. General White? Oh, you must mean that white the bomb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he's headed off to... Okay, I'll meet you at the puny tree in a moment. Holy crap, this guy gets around. There we go. Talk to this puny. Welcome to the great tree. Yeah, General Wright, he's an old bomb with a great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he's going to... Oh my god. I'm done with this. Darkly Forest, here we come. I talked to this particular guy, huh, General White. Yeah, I know the old guy. He's a wipe of bomb, right? He was here until recently. <sighs> I'm done chasing him down. What? Where did he go? Where am I? What am I? Secretary looked tired. Know that. Where could he have gone? Hmm. I'm gonna look around for a minute. Oh, uh, while looking around, I got a level up, and I have not not shown level up on screen, so I'm just gonna show you that. Uh, yep, here's my level up. I don't remember what level we're at. But anyway, talk to this guy. What? You cannot find General White? Oh, douchebag in the background. Hmm. The mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? Douchebag in the background. Now, where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely needed him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to, what to do? Alright, well, because we just saw him in the background, because he is a douchebag, just come in here, and, oh, he's sleeping. Let's wake him up. Hammer? Nope. Hammer does not work. Jumping on him? Nope. Does not work. Gotta talk to him. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. And he doesn't get up. Okay, try again. And he's gonna get up. To nope. He's still sound asleep. He's definitely still asleep. Wow, this guy can... He is ignoring Mario. Jumping on his face. This is really obnoxious. Look, and we even got to slow down. He wa- Aww. Douchebag game. <laughs> Stashed, baby. Sorry, that made me laugh. Um, he's gonna wake up eventually. You have to do this. I'm not doing this for my own enjoyment. Like, to see what it says. No, you have to continue and sit here. And there we go. Snorf, snorf. Acrobatics. Oh, let's see. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. Hut? That... Mustache, that hat, and that hammer, even. Hut, hut, I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring the cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red... Okay, we're wearing a green M hat, but we have the other stuff. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip, hip, hurrah! The fortune teller was right. So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready. So go tell the mayor. Now get moving. Hut, hut! All right, so we get to... You finally use this cannon everyone's been talking about that we haven't gotten to see yet for some reason. Well, I still think that's the cannon, because look at it. There's a, it looks like a cannon. It's shaped like a cannon. It's on a pedestal. It looks kind of cannony. Take out Goombella. So cannon's back online. Well, I could just explode with the light. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. He speaks in broken English sometimes, and then 
he doesn't speak in broken English. So I can't tell if he's like doesn't I, I don't know. He like sometimes he just misses words. You come this like you come this way. That's that sentence I mean, I guess the sentence works, it just doesn't sound right. But then other times he uses phrases like you guys and like generally not like a person who uses broken English. They don't generally use like slang terminology. Now you stand here. See like he's it's, I guess it's not really broken English. It's just it, his sentences don't sound right, even though they are grammatically correct. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Like, is the Big Bomb Cannon ready? Now, man, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ho, hop, hut, boom. Now, positions everyone. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, did you just see the graphical glitch? That was not because of my uh, capture card. That was actually the graphical glitch. Uh, if you notice the the bomb saying yes sir they overlapped each other it was kinda cool bringing guidance systems online bringing guidance systems online systems now online systems check system check all clear prepare for detonation sequence oh here we go here we go I wonder what the cannon looks like it's gotta be pretty powerful open the outer hatch if it's gonna shoot us to the moon it's gotta be pretty amazing oh snap it's a no wonder, oh my god, open inner shutter. No wonder people think we can get to the moon with this thing, because, oh my god. <laughs> Gigantic. Elevate on my mark. Doesn't he have to say mark? Nope, they're just going to bring it straight up. Normally he has to give some sort of like indication, like, elevate on my mark. Now, or go, or mark, or something. Oh, snap. To put it into perspective, that cannon is more than ten times the size of that bomb. I mean, more than ten, more than a hundred si times. Sighting target is the moon. It's probably like a thousand and four times bigger than the bomb. Probably more. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, direction, elevation, yeah. It is. Let's just say it is. It is fairly big. It is larger than most of the houses. That the bombs have it. Well, it is it is way larger. If, if you notice, it came out of the ground and it towered over all the other huts. You can't even see any houses when they're aiming this thing. So holy crap! No. Now everyone in. That's really look out how high out hop ah can't speak. Now high tech this thing is, and the way they make it explode is by blowing up inside. <laughs> that feels kind of cheap. Closed chamber hatch. It's crowded in here. Boom. Stop pushing, bazoom. Ow, 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 you're on my foot, baboom. It's tight in here, plume. I'm getting nervous. Oh, he didn't say boom. Stop. Oh, he didn't say it either. Conditions all green. Stand by, okay? It's time. Big bomb cannon, fire! And, you know, they have to make it try to look cool. I don't know why. But there we go. Hopefully we land on the moon and not in some random area like Rogue Port Sewers. <laughs> Bomb bomb parachutes. No. Good luck, Mario. Oh, oh, there we go. We're we are definitely in space. Look at the stars. You know? So we gotta be up uh, are we landing? Oh yep, we are landing on the moon, guys. We did it. We are now one step closer. And now all we have to do is find where the crystal star is hidden and I got a pretty good idea where we're gonna find it. What do you got to say? Wow, that was killer. I totally never would have guessed I'd get to do that. You going to say anything else? Oh, well, so yeah, here we are. We're totally on the moon. So let's get going, Mario. Let's find the last crystal star and save the princess. Anyway, uh, on the moon, it is filled with all these um, cracks that you can blow open. And some of them have items in it. And some of them have star pieces. Um, let's see, what is here? See, look, it's a stopwatch. If you haven't noticed, I don't use items like that so don't worry about it um... this is not slow down this is just you move very slowly on the moon which kinda sucks so in a few seconds i'm probably just gonna speed this part up because like i said look how long it's taking me just to walk from over there to over here oh there's decreased gravity on the moon so you get to jump really high which is always cool but uh... yeah i'm definitely gonna speed this up in a, in a, in a little bit not right now we don't need to do it right now but we will in a little bit simply because 
look how slow this is going. You do not want to see me just slowly walk and try to blow everything up. No, that's not what you want to watch. That's boring. Nobody wants to do that. But anyway, we have a new, well, we have a new skin of a new, of an old enemy. Let's check him out. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 5. Damn. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to 0. As you see, these things have pretty intense, uh, defense, and I'm going to switch to Koops, because his, his, he's got a, oh, damn it. Uh, wow, I just failed twice in a row. But anyway, I was going to use his new move, which is repeatedly tilt stick to the left, and there you go. That move is actually probably one of the hardest moves to pull off. So if you cannot do it, do not feel bad. That is really hard to tap that stick to the left like that, because you're not given a lot of time. But anyway, as you see, I'm speeding this up a little bit. Be but it's it's actually very difficult to do this. Like, look, right here. Yeah, see, couldn't do it. Especially with Unsimplifier, there's like, it's almost impossible. I can't do it consecutively, because your finger just, it's, it can't go that fast. Your finger is not supposed to go that fast. Anyway, we're going to use an Earth Tremor. Be uh, yeah, I can't speak. Tremor, not Twemer. Use an Earth Tremor. Try to do a little bit of damage. There we go. Because I don't want to be using all of our uh, FP. Our fruity flower power. Oh, here we go. But, yep, yeah, I got it that time. It's really difficult. So, like I said, if, if anyone is still playing this game for whatever reason, besides making a walkthrough for no random reason, I, it's it's there is no shame in not being able to do that move. See? Look, screwed it up. But I have Super Mario, so multi-bounds works. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, now, I realized in this video, I sped this part up, and I'd never slowed it down for the new fight against the Yucks, these creatures right here. And so I'm going to explain them to you without actually the slowing it down. Basically, what it says is it's a Z Yucks. It has 7 HP and 4 uh, attack, 0 defense. Basically, what she says is they are just slightly improved uh, regular Yuxes. There's no big deal with them. See, look, they're pretty simple to take out. Nothing to really worry about. They just uh, have a little more attack and HP. Oh, they still make the mini Yuxes, which are kind of annoying, but they're not that bad. You don't really have to worry. Oh, damn it. You really don't have to worry about it that much. See, look, they're very simple. Having no trouble at all. But uh, we're almost there, guys. You can see it in the background. I just have to go to it. So whenever I feel like getting to it, I'm going to send out Miss Mouse. Oh, super guard. And Miss Mouse's amazing pierce defense ability. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that awesome skill. But anyway, it's in the background, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to go to my right real quick. And uh, right real quick. See if there's anything over here I want to get. Damn it. I didn't mean to fight this guy, but that's okay. Who really cares? But yeah, I'm just want I want to check over here because I'm pretty sure if you keep going right, you go full circle, like you travel the entire moon's surface, which in my opinion is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, yeah, I I didn't know if there's like a immediate badge I was missing, but uh, nope, that's it. That is uh, all the stuff that's on that side of the moon. Like I said, you can go full circle, you can blow everything up. It just it would take me forever to do everything, so I decided not to. But anyway. Guys, uh, this has been, this is pretty much it. I mean, we're getting in here, and we're going to get the next star pretty soon. But uh, for now, we're running on 14 minutes or so, so I think I'm going to call it quits right here. Uh, let's see, what do you got to say? Here, I have a suspicious building. Wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful. We're going to end this here. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Energy Legends Walkthrough of Paper Mario Without a New Door. Please subscribe, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.